Hello, welcome to Jamie Jupiter's Power Trample Logo, the newest low impact, core engaging, shock absorbent, anti gravity workout station with resistance bands. Today, we're going to talk about the Power Trample Logo device, the bands, the resistance levels, and some of the exercises that you could do on the Power Trample Logo device. So, what I'm going to do right now is break down the bands. As you see, we have yellow bands, green bands, red bands, and blue bands. And um, so, this is the standard unit. And for the standard unit, um, these are the bands that we have, all right? We have the green bands right here. I love using these green bands because they're the hardest bands to use, they're the most intense, and I call these the short leg bands. These are the green bands right here. They're on the sides, the very lateral sides of the machines, facing what I call north and south. Right here in the middle, these are long arm bands. I have a yellow for less resistance and a red right here. Okay, um, and so these bands right here you can hold on your arms when you're doing stuff like jumping jacks, running in place, squats when you're facing this way. And this right here is the band that goes, connects to your ankle right here when you are doing jump, jumping jacks, jump rope, jogging in place. So that's that band right there. And as you see, we have three different stations for bands. We have a green, a red, and a blue. And they're all coupled with a yellow band so you can add more variety. If you can add, um, you can add resistance or you can just use the yellow bands for the resistance. But I wanted to have variety regarding the resistance for different fitness levels. So you can use the yellow band by itself, do squats, bicep curls. I would probably use the reds especially when I like doing punches and stuff like that. So that's what that is right there. And so each side mirrors each other. So you have blue bands, blue bands, red band, red band, green band, green band, and they're all coupled with the yellow band. And once again, the green bands right here, the short leg bands, or I'll even just go ahead and put these together so you can see these kind of go together they mirror each other. So this is more resistance the greens, this is less resistance the reds. And once again, these bands also are the same bands right here with the yellows also. So that's how it's set up. There's a million different exercises, a million different combination. It's all low impact. I hope you love it. We love it. Power Trample logo future of fitness. So we have Stephanie. Stephanie's going to step on up. And we're going to focus right now on what I call the short leg bands. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect her to the short leg bands. They're the bands that are on the very edge when we're facing north and south is what I call this right here. So short leg bands, make sure it's nice and clipped in. Make sure your ankle straps are nice and snug so they don't come off. And make sure most of all there's no kids or pets um, around in case something does come loose. You don't want anything to get hurt. So safety first and here we go. The first exercise she's going to do is just jogging. And she's just going to jog back and forth. Just like that. And as you can see, we got bands right here. Also, she can grab one with the hands. And so she can jog and she can add some the arms in there, adding a little bit more resistance. And she's going to continue to jog back and forth. There you go. Good. You can even do high knees, walking back and forth, just like that. As you can see, the core, the abs engage. Awesome. Good job. Another exercise she's going to do is jump rope. And so we're going to take these bands away. She's going to grab these middle bands. And I call these bands short arm bands. She's going to step up to the middle and she's going to go for a jump rope. Just like that. So she's jumping rope. She can even alternate. A lot of people who don't have the coordination of jump rope can actually jump rope a little bit better on here. You can actually land on your heels more instead of your toes. Look at that. And she's twirling the ropes for extra resistance. Good. And stop. Also, she's going to jog back and forth. 
but she's going to take the bands off. So you can also jog back and forth. You don't have to have the leg bands to do that. You can just jog with the bands. There you go. And so as you notice, she has the yellow bands. Those are the lightest bands um, on the device. So I can actually have her power up a little bit. I can give her the blue bands, which is a little bit more resistance. And so there's an infinite way you can increase the intensity of your workout. Boom, get the biceps going really good. Boom, just like that. Good, just like that. Awesome. Good. So we're going to connect the bands back. The short leg bands right here. So you don't want to confuse these bands with the bands in the middle right here. These are on the very edge and you have the equivalent over there in green bands. So the next exercise she's going to do, and I'm going to give her the blue bands for a little bit extra stability, are lunges. Front lunges, she wants to keep your back straight, chest up, and she's lunging back and forth like that. Good, so it makes you balance. You got the low, pec, low impact to feel. You got the low impact going on, just like that. Mm -hmm. Lunges, just like that, good. So those are lunges, and stop. And the next exercise she's gonna do are mountain climbers. And so, just like mountain climbers in the gym, Boom, back and forth, just like that. So this might be an advanced exercise, but it's a good way, it's low impact. You've got the resistance pulling you, just like that. So you can do a million different exercises on here, just like that, low impact, and awesome, good. Another exercise I wanna go ahead and introduce is, she's gonna grab these bands right here. She's gonna step up just a little bit, right here. She's gonna do some rows, right here. Rows, back, boom. Um, notice that I have my, I'm bent like this, look at this. Like that, and we're rolling back. And actually I call these rowboats. Looks kinda of like a rowboat at this point, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean she's squeezing the shoulder blades back here. Just like that. Awesome, good job. Yeah. And so, another one of the exercises I want to go ahead and go over is a simple chest press fly. So I'm going to grab these yellow bands back here. Advanced users, you might want to use the green bands back here for this. And so we're going to have her step back. And we're going to take a lunge position on one of the legs. She's going to lunge forward just like that, and she's doing a chest fly using the yellow bands, look at that. And so she's having a balance, you have resistance pulling you in all directions, core is engaged, and of course, she could probably use a little bit more resistance, but depending on your fitness level, it's what resistance level. She, I would probably put her on the reds or the blues, or if you want to get super ambitious, you can actually add another band. Look at that. Boom. Just like that. And so it's more resistance right there. Just like that. Good. And stop. Awesome. Good. So another one of the exercises I like to do in this position are front kicks. Good for cardio, good for balance, good for core, and um, good for the legs and the glutes. So she's going to step her left legs up a little bit. Yeah, and she's going to take the right leg back, and she's just doing front kicks. Boom, just like that. Inhale, exhale as you kick forward, just like that. Boom, just like that. Mm -hmm. Good. And stop. Awesome. All right, so while we're here, we're going to go ahead and go into some bicep curls. Bicep curls right here. Boom. Mm -hmm. So getting the arms in there. As you can see, her core is still working. She can take her legs a little bit further apart. So she's in a nice position, just right there, good. And she's gonna go ahead and go into some tricep extensions, just like this, back here. 
Some tricep kickbacks, just like that. Boom. So working the back of the arms, just like that. Good. So a million different exercises, and we're just showing you a few basic exercises. And of course, you're going to come up with your own. But make sure you watch out. We have a series of DVD workouts coming, so stay tuned for that. And, um, and she's going to go into some shoulder presses while she's here. Boom. So sidearm bands. She's grabbing the yellows, grabbing the yellows. And she's just going shoulder presses up. And she can take her feet about shoulder width apart, like that, looking professional, just like that. Boom. As you can see, every time she presses up, you got the core working right there. Feel your core working every time you press up, right? Good. And actually, as she's here, I can go ahead and tell her to go into some squat push press. While we're here, just to go ahead and get that full body workout. She's coming down. Yep. Inhale. She's pressing up as she comes up. So you're going to do a shoulder press when you come to the top. Mm -hmm. Boom. Yeah. Just like that. Boom. So as you can see, working the core, working the glutes right here. Squat push press. Good. Awesome. And good. Stop. Good. Um, all right, so this position I call east-west position, and as you can see, she has the yellow bands right here. These are the bands I was talking about when I was differentiating from these side red bands that are equivalent to the green bands over there. They run back and forth like this, right? All right, so she has um, the middle short leg bands right here, red. And she has a yellow band, which is a little bit longer. This band is a little bit longer than this band. And it's, it's, it's connected um, a certain way for a certain reason. So remember that. Um, this is the same band right here. So I'm being nice to her. I'm giving her the yellow band because this is the same band. It has a lot extra resistance. And so whatever your fitness level is, that's what you want to go with. Today we got her with the yellow bands for the arms. And the red bands because the legs are a little bit stronger than the arms are, just naturally. So from this position, you can do a lot of the same, same exercises, like she can jog in place, boom, just like that, she can get the arms involved, just like that, she can do, go ahead and stop, you can just do high knees, boom, you can get the arms up here too, yeah. just like that, looks good. So the bands are pulling you slightly laterally like that. All right, you can do a jump rope, just like in this other position, boom. Yeah, just like that. You can even do a jumping jack. And so you can do a jumping jack like this, or you can modify it if you're not ready for the full fledged exercises. Yeah. So that's a high intense exercise. So if you want to modify that, we can just do a side step and modify that. So, yeah. so do both arms and side step. So you sidestep without this knee bend thing. So you're just stepping to the side. Get the arms all the way. There you go. Good. So that's another way you can do that. All right. And so once again, you can do squats. Boom. Feet apart. Squat down. Just like we did. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Inhale. Exhale. Good. As you notice, glutes are working, legs are working, core is working. She can even add a press to that. Yeah, just like that. Good. One of my favorite exercises right here is to take the bands and opposite, opposite arms. Good. And, and it's a bent over lateral raise, just like that. Just like that, you can keep the legs straight so you engage the hamstrings and then come all the way up, just like that. Inhale, exhale, just like that. Mm -hmm. Good. That's one of my favorite exercises right there. Good, and stop. Yes, welcome to a cardio strength and core workout. We have Stephanie and I am Jamie Jupiter. What I want you to do today is really focus and know where you are in space on the trample logo. I want you to breathe, keep your core tight, and I want you to have an amazing workout. And here we go. So we're gonna start off with a jog. We're gonna warm up and then we're gonna go into some stretching. But the first exercise we're gonna do is just jogging back and forth. 
just like this. And I'm getting my arms involved because I want to work out, I'm trying to get in shape. So we're just going back and forth. And if you get tired, this is just a warm up. So I want you to go with your own fitness level. So as you see, I'm not even using my arms, but you want to get that heart rate up, get the arms going, just like that. And if you get super tired, you can just do high knees, just like that. But until then, so Stephanie will show you modifications, and I'm going to go hit it. And we're only going for about 45 seconds right here, all right? So I already got the heart rate up, and we're moving, just like that. And stop. Good. We're going to set these down. And I'm going right here in the middle with the yellow bands. And I'm just going to jump rope. Just like that. And Stephanie, uh, use the red. Since you have. Good. And we're going right into a jump rope. Just like that. How you feeling over there? Making you work? Are you making you work? Yes. Just like that. So we're jumping rope. You can even do doubles, just like this. But I like to alternate, just like that. You're almost there. You want to breathe. Definitely getting the core in there. You're almost there. Come on. Like I said, if it gets too difficult, you can just do like this. Good. And stop. We're going to go into some lunges, all right? Now I'm going to put these bands down. Stephanie, you're going to go and grab those blue bands at the top. Just like that. Good. So, with these right here, we're lunging forward. You can even take this back knee to the mat if you want, and lunge back. So we're just alternating lunges. Just like that, you wanna keep your back straight, chest up, just like that. You can even add a bicep curl, boom. Just like that, keep the core tight, and really feel your thighs engage, your core engage, and we're working. Like that. So we're lunging it out right here. Front lunges. Good. You could even do same leg. Look at that. Same leg. And as you see, I'm adding a bicep curl at the end just to add to the exercise. So we're lunging. Get that lunge. Boom. Good, and stop. Awesome. Right. So we're gonna go back into the mountain climbers again. Good, so we're back in the mountain climbers. Like I said, if you get too tired, you can just do high knees. Your arms, your wrists hurt, you can modify. So we're in the mountain climbers, really working the upper body, the core, just like that. Good, and stop. Good job, Stephanie. We're gonna go ahead and power up, all right? You're gonna go ahead and stand up. I'm gonna change this out real quick. Remember, these bands are interchangeable. If it's not your fitness level, you can go up or you can go down whatever level you're on. So, we're gonna take your left leg slightly forward. You're gonna power up right here, core nice and tight, and we're doing front kicks. She's mad at me, so she's trying to kick me. She's trying to kick me like that, boom like that. So thighs are working, balance is, balance is working. Power trap all over, baby, right here. Boom. Just like that. So I can feel my calves working, I can feel my thighs working, and I can feel my core working. Good. And we did kick each other. Just like that. Boom, and stop. Good. Shake it out a little bit. And we're going to the other leg. 
So opposite leg forward, just like that. And we're going to the front kicks. Boom, make sure you find your balance right here. If you want some balance and you need more balance, I can come right here. It's a whole nother dimension, but I'm still working. So you want to inhale, exhale out. You're still working, front kicks. If that's too difficult for you, once again, boom, boom. Don't go so high, don't go so hard. Go at your own fitness level, okay? As you see, I'm working with just a few movements. My body is already on fire and my heart rate's up. But anyway, here we go. A few more seconds. Boom, 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 and stop. Just like that. So we're gonna take a little break. Try to catch your breath. If you got some water, you need some water at home. Get some water, all right? Man, you feeling that? Good, so on the next exercise, we're gonna go into a front lunge with a chest fly. And as you see, I have no bands connected because I wanted to use the green bands back here, all right? So you don't necessarily have to use the bands all the time on the legs, um, specifically because I wanted these bands for my arms. My legs are gonna be working because this makes me have to balance. So we're gonna go ahead and go into some alternating front lunge chest press. So here we go, you ready? Good, we're gonna exhale out, just like that. So I'm working the chest, I'm working the lunge, and Stephanie's gonna continue, and I'm actually gonna add a little resistance as she works, because I need to, and you're allowed to do this too. So I need a little bit more resistance, just like that. So I'm working more, and this is a big stretch right here, okay? Boom. You really want to feel your quads engage just like that. And if you want to, you can even stay out here and keep working the chest, okay? Just like that. So there's rules to the game, but those rules are made to be broken. Boom. So I really want to work right here. And as you see, Stephanie is using the yellows. She could probably go a little higher, but that's where she is today. We're working hard. And I know you are too. So, here we go. And a few more seconds. And stop. Good job. Just like that. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna grab these same bands. And we're gonna go into some rows. And so with Stephanie, she's gonna grab the green bands. And we're gonna go into some rows right here. Just pulling straight back, engaging the muscles of the back, the lats, and your core is working just like that. Pushing all the way back. Make a difference, do not waste the repetition. Just like that. All the way back. You can even speed up a little bit. Just speed up a little bit. You don't want to use momentum too much, but to intensify, sometimes I like to change the tempo. So we're pushing all the way back, and I'm getting a really good burn right here. And we've got a few more seconds. Three, two, and one. Stop. And stop. We're going to knock out some old fashioned push ups. Right here. So you're going to go do a push up. You can do them on your knees. So you're taking your knees back a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and power up. And we're just gonna do some old fashioned push ups, okay? So here we go. Yep, so you wanna drop the belly button a little bit to the floor. There you go, straighten that back out, just like that. So this exercise right here has no bands. But the instability and this cushion, the instability right here is really making me work. And we're almost there, keep working. Burn it over there. A few more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good job. 
Alright, so straight from the push-ups, I'm going to change it up for Miss Stephanie over here. I'm going to get those loops working. Alright, so what we're going to do, so we're using these middle bands right here, the reds. And she's going to start off on the left side, taking that foot all the way to the ceiling into a glute raise, yeah? All the way up, just like that. And I'm gonna join in the festivities right there. All right. Just like that. Feeling those over there? Yep, all the way up. All the way up, every time. Straight up. Come on, make a difference over here. We're almost there. Come on, we got a few more seconds. Three, two, and one. Go so just like that. Take a little break. We're gonna switch sides. All right. So we're gonna go all the way up. Tighten up that core, and we're gonna do the other side. All the way up, push them straight up. Exhale as you go straight up. The core is nice and engaged. The core is nice and engaged. All the way up, every time. The arms are still working, that's the cool thing about it. Especially doing those push-ups. The arms are still working, all right? You're almost there. About five more seconds. Come on, make a difference over there. Come on. Three, I know you got a competition or something soon. Two, and one. Good job. And awesome. Just like that. We're gonna go, we're gonna cool down. We're gonna go into an upper facing dog. Just like this. Looking up to the ceiling, pull the shoulder blades back. Just like that. And we're gonna to go to a downward facing dog. Just like that, we're gonna bend the knee a little bit. One of the knees. We're gonna bend the other knee. My arms are still working. And we're gonna come on down. Just like that, shake it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Good. We're gonna take the left leg forward. Just like that. And we're gonna take the back knee up. Just like that. So we're stretching out the hip flexors. We're cooling down. If you feel really ambitious, take this arm up in the air. Like that. So Stephanie, go ahead and try. Try taking the right yellow band up into the air. Mm -hmm. Just like that. So a nice little yoga pose to cool down, but you're still working. So it's like a cool down, but it's still a little bit of work. Good, and stop. Come down, we're gonna switch the legs out. That. And we're gonna do the other side.